This is Rob Flynn from Machine Head, and you're watching Loudwire. Hey everyone, Graham from Loudwire here, and it's Wikipedia Factor Fiction time with Rob Flynn of Machine Head. You look terrified. <laughs> with Wikipedia. It was just like, it's fucking <laughs> Factor Fiction, bro. You just that never was my know. Look. That was my Factor Fiction look. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well, combed through your Wikipedia, Machine Head Wikipedia, other bands, all oh that boy. stuff. Today, oh boy. you'll prove if it's fact or fiction. Okay. All right. First of all, said uh, you were born Lawrence Matthew Cardine, uh, changed your name to Robert Conrad Flynn, and you were born in Oakland. Uh, do I tell you fact or fiction? Yes. Uh, partial. Oh, okay. Partial fact. I All was, right. I was, uh, I'm adopted. Yes. And so when I was born, that was my name. Mm -hmm. And then when my parents adopted me, they changed my name. Okay. So I didn't change my name. Okay, gotcha. So that's not really fiction. It's more just a clarification. It's faction. <laughs> yes. It says on Wikipedia that Black Sabbath is your biggest influence and the reason that you play guitar. Yeah. <laughs> yes, excellent. The affirmative. How old were you when you started playing guitar? Uh... 13. Okay. Yeah. So it was Iomi. Was it a certain album, a certain song, a certain riff? Sweet Leaf changed my life. And yes. That was, that was actually the first riff that I learned how to play a power chord to. Nice. So up until then, I was just doing all like single string. And I, and I was like, it doesn't sound heavy. Like, it doesn't sound like Iomi. And then my buddy, right. my buddy was like, no, dude, you got to add that extra string. Da, 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 da. And I was like, oh, shit, that's it. So. Yeah. Yes, Sweet Leaf. Very Black good. Sabbath. How long? Uh, how old were you when you found out what Sweet Leaf was about? Oh, I knew. I was. Smoking you knew weed. right I away. I was smoking weed already. Yeah. <laughs> Smart. I was smoking weed pretty early. So, all right. California. <laughs> Although sure. probably <laughs> many people here in New York were smoking weed at 13. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure everywhere. People enjoy marijuana. They do. That's good stuff. <laughs> Jeff Sessions. <laughs> Uh, Machine Head was formed when you felt musically unfulfilled with Forbidden and Violence, uh, but the contradiction says, uh, when your request was denied to form Machine Head, you left Violence, and another page says, you had parted ways with Violence after a physical fight between the band members and a local gang. Faction. Both of them are sort of true? Fict. Or? It's a fict. <laughs> Right? Uh, they're okay. both kind of true, but a little off, yeah. Okay. Well, what was so I, I started the, uh, Machine Head while I was in violence, and yes. Machine Head was a side project okay. for about five or six months while I was still in violence. Okay. And then I quit violence uh, during a, basically a fight with gang members in Oakland. That, okay. that is true. But, but that was wasn't... between some buddies of mine and some of the Machine Head band members of mine. You know, so it wasn't like the band, the violence band members. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Was it, uh, did the fight in any way contribute to you leaving violence? Kinda, yeah. Okay. They were threatening to throw grenades on stage if I performed with the band, and I was like, I'm not gonna go on stage. Like, this was a real, it was some f***ing real deal shit. Dude. Grenades? Up. Who gets that pissed about a band? They were, yeah. I don't, I don't think I had to do with the band. <laughs> okay, fair yeah. enough. It says that Machine Head's name did not come from the Deep Purple album of the same title. Fact. That's true. Okay. Were you aware of that album at all at the time? I was aware of Deep Purple. Okay. Uh, like Smoke on the Water, but sure. out in the Bay Area, you know, like I was like a thrash kid. So yeah. we got into the thrash stuff and then, uh, and so other than maybe that song, that's the only song I knew by them and I wouldn't have... Uh, I, right. of course, was made aware once I went on, the album dropped, and I went on a press tour, and everybody was like, bro, Deep Purple, right? I'm like, yeah. no. <laughs> and they were like, really? I, met, I actually met Ian Gillen from Deep Purple, and I didn't have the heart to tell him that, oh, <laughs> that, no, album, that it wasn't actually that our band name didn't come from his album. Uh, but we hung out all night so and awkward. got hammered with him, and it was, uh, it was a great, super fun night. Have you ever met him? I have. He's, he's a really nice guy. He, you know what? He's a nice guy, but he's like a cool guy. Yeah, like, that motherfucker is cool. Like the way he smokes a cigarette is cool. The way he tells us, I was like, I felt like I was around some goddamn like movie star or something. I was like, this dude's amazing. Uh, it says Machine Head's first demo was recorded in a friend's bedroom and was funded by eight hundred bucks. Fact. Truth. 
All right, so uh, w what did the 800 bucks do for that demo? It paid for the studio time. Okay, uh, well, the, the, the studio was time. in a, yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> it, the dude's studio was in his bedroom. Okay, so we just had a we board stuck and the, stuff. We stuck the amps in the bathroom. So you could get well, that, that's smart, toilet bowl, yeah. that toilet bowl crunch. Of course. And, uh, and, and I did all the distorted vocals on, he had an intercom that communicated with the rest of the house, and so we just mic'd the intercom, and yeah. I went, Whoa. <laughs> and did all that shit, and it was, it was good. We got signed from it, and then we got signed to Roadrunner off of that Wow, demo. I had no idea. Logan Mater showed up to practice late, high on meth, cursing at and insulting the band members, and quit the band later that day. <laughs> Fact. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't think it was later that day. I think it was that day. At, at the moment, yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, well, there you go. It's true. Had to pull that one out just to see. Uh, of course, uh, the video for Crashing Around You caused some controversy for featuring images of burning buildings shortly after 9-11, but it says the pressure from this almost caused Machine Head to break up. Um, I mean... It didn't necessarily, I mean, all of that's true about the Crash and Randy right. video. Uh, I, didn't, I don't think it necessarily caused us to break up, but okay. it was like, it was a crazy fucking time. You know what I mean? Like we, released, sure. we put out a record two weeks after September 11th. It was just Dude, unbelievable. The worst. Yeah, it was a rough time. We were on tour five days after September 11th, like playing to wow. people and people in the audience like, what the fuck am I doing here? And yeah, people still just, you know, in a, but in a lot of ways at the same time, it was, it was an awesome tour, you know, like that whole, uh, you know, like I, what I said earlier about like working it out in real time. Oh yeah. You know, like we didn't know what the f was going on either. And we were trying to work it out and here we are on tour. We're like, what are we doing on tour? Like this is f***ing crazy and people are coming to the shows and just like, I'm lost. And I'm like, I'm f***ing lost. Like, I don't know what to think either. And just, we worked it out. Together. It says on Wikipedia that the original version of Aesthetics of Hate sounded like a totally f***ing lame Angel of Death ripoff. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the ending did. Yeah, the ending did. Fact. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so was this something that you realized like after writing it? Like, oh, it's too, it's yeah, too much like Angel Yeah, very quickly after writing it, I was like, this sucks. <laughs> like, ending was just super stupid and so we ended up changing it to what you hear now which is that slow version bo, 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 do. yeah yeah all that vibe all right sonosphere 2009 uh, it said machine had reportedly canceled their appearance over disagreements with staff over their playing slot machine had thought they should play after limp biscuit however a week before sonosphere machine had agreed to take back their slot below limp biscuit that's on our Wikipedia page? Yeah. What a random thing to have on our Wikipedia page. That's why I brought it out. It is, uh, it's, it's, uh, faction. <laughs> Another, uh, yeah. So we were on, we were on the Sonosphere. They bumped us down at the last minute. Oh, And added okay. Limp Biscuit at the last minute because the tour, the show wasn't do it selling very well. Gotcha. And so we were like, nah, dude, you can't just bump us down like that. That's f***ed up and f you and we got into a big pissing match with them and then we pulled out and then at the last minute they kind of came and like you know super apologized like the promoter of the show came and was just like look I really wanted to do it maybe we can get you bring you back secretly or something and so they were like we'll fly you on a private jet and pay you lots of money and we're like well okay <laughs> all right negotiation like, all right so and then we did it and it was a f***ing brutal show 22 circle pits. It was at once sick. Yes, it was sick. God. It was just, I mean, circle pits as far as the eye could see. It wow. Was, it was a good show. Uh, last one. It says, despite what many Machine Head fans believe, Night of Long Knives is not about the Rom pushed a series of Nazi executions, but instead about the Manson family murders. Yes. That's true. Fact, it is about the Manson family murders. Cool. Uh, what is it about the title that you wanted to reference the Manson family murders to something uh, with Nazis? I didn't realize that it had anything to do with Nazis. I've read f***ing 30 Manson books throughout my life. You know what I mean? Like I've read a bunch of crazy, I've watched tons of stuff and, and that was something that was somewhere along the line I had seen out. that name, 
that phrase associated with the murders. Okay. And I thought that that was where it came from. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't know cool. if that what that is. Is that a fact or a fiction? Uh, well, fiction. I would say that it's a it's fact. A fiction. Well, it's fiction. Okay. It's all wrong. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it so much. Thank you for clearing stuff up on Wikipedia for us. The new Machine Head album, Catharsis. Pick it up, Rob Flynn. Boom.